quantum physics secret. This is a story about a particle like a proton, neutron, electron and in turn it tells a story about you. Hello, my name is Ramana Anamaraju. I'm a physicist, healthcare specialist and above all spiritualist. Science of Hindu is my personal journey to find the ultimate truth about the nature through science, in particular quantum physics, Hindu Vedic scriptures, Christianity and Buddhism. I am on journey to find that elusive truth and ready to go wherever it takes me, whatever it does. If you like pushing sciences to the extreme realms of spirituality, you will enjoy this thought-provoking journey. Why there is a spiritual explosion around the world and in particular in the Western culture? The people are flocking to meditation practices, yoga centers and buying huge number of spiritual related books. Why? People go to the churches, temples and mass on, regular, on a regular basis. Why? Is there any pre-genetic disposition pushing us humans to look for something? Why? The question to ask is what they are searching for. The following video gives you some perspective on that search. Please click on the link at the bottom to open a YouTube video. If you have any problem, go to youtube.com slash science of Hindu channel and you can watch the video Plato's Allegory of the Cave. This video demonstrates how prisoners of mind behave. They develop a false sense of truth and deny any existence of real truth. Because the prisoners don't understand the real truth does not mean the true reality doesn't exist. Some of the learned human beings know that they are trapped in a false state of reality and they are trying to look for that eternal truth. Truth sets you free is a you know, well-known proverb. Um, free from what? Free from suffering, free from pain, free from attachments, free from losing, free from fear itself. If you can do that, that is an enlightenment and eternal bliss. Now the big question is, how do you find the truth? There is a scientific tool available for us, for us to find the truth that is called quantum physics. Quantum physics tells you an extraordinary and unexpected story about the world of atoms and behavior of the particles like electrons, protons, neutrons that constitute the atoms. Quantum world defies the rules of our everyday common sense world. The bizarre and nonsensical behavior of the particles in a quantum world gives you some markings of a trail that leads to the truth in a pathless land. Let us imagine an, an eccentric woman named Angelina lives in a both worlds, classical world and a quantum world. Let us compare the way she lives in a classical world, which is our everyday world, and the way she lives in a quantum world, which defies all common sense. In a classical world, Angelina works Monday to Friday, the weekdays in New York. While she is there, she lives in a greenhouse. The color of the Statue of Liberty is green, remember? And Angelina comes home in the weekend to the city of Atlanta, where she lives in a red house, home of the Coca-Cola, the color is red. It is important to remember that she lives in Atlanta in red house and New York in a greenhouse. Now let us enter into the mysterious and strange world of quantum and see how Angelina lives in such a bizarre world. She lives in a both places, New York and Atlanta same time, repeat same time. She lives in a both cities. Angelina goes quantum so the houses she lives in. It means her house in New York and her house in Atlanta have both colors, red and green. The colors are not mixed, they are superimposed. Now Angelina lives like a Alice in Wonderland experiencing, experiencing the greatest wonders of the quantum nature.
Angelina lives in both cities all the times, weekdays and weekends. Quantum world do not care what you think about it. You like it or not, that is the way the quantum world works. Those are the quantum rules. Now there is a one important rule you cannot violate in quantum world. You cannot check on here. No phone calls, no emails, or no cameras, or no stalking. Not even a peep. If you do that, you are, there are consequences. Now you want to know. You want to be smart. How do you know she exists in a both places same time? If you cannot check on her, well, there is a way to find out. We guys get usually curious for a woman who is elusive, does not know exactly where she lives and may not keep her appointments. She is a mysterious, oh yes, he wanted to go out with her for dinner. Man's ego kicks in. Men never ask for directions. You made reservations for a dinner at 7 p.m. at your favorite restaurant. You know where single women in live in Metro Atlanta, Decatur, and then look for a red house. Surprise, surprise. She is there in front of a red house waiting for you. Big validation for your ego. Suppose you are in New York for some work and you decided to take Angelina for a dinner. You go to Greenwich Village, look for a greenhouse in New York. She will show up there for you without a doubt. Mystery thickens. She manifests to your desires whichever the place you like to show up, whichever city you pick up even last minute. She will show up for you. Now you know she has to live in a both places same time. You show, so you show up, she shows up every time. Now let us stick to Atlanta. You pick Angelina for a dinner at the Red House. Now you got curious. Now you send a text to your cousin in New York to see if she is there. He texts you back with a negative. She is not there in New York City. Well, what happened? You are expecting in a quantum world that she lives in a both places same time. But in fact, he killed Angelina's quantum world. Remember, as I said before, if you check on her or look for her, I told you there will be consequences. Here it is. When you look for her, unknowingly, you kill her quantum world. She stopped being a ghost-like existence and she became real and became a part of a classical world. Your observation killed her quantum world and brought her to the classical world. Houses, the houses were in quantum state. Houses now, because of your observation, houses already became classical. Atlanta house has a red color now. Your dinner date went extremely well with Angelina. Being a southern gentleman, you have to drop her home safe. While dropping her home, he noticed something odd. The house color he changed to green. It was red when you were picking her up few hours ago for dinner. And now all of a sudden it is green. You don't see any construction workers. No one in the world can change the color of the entire house that fast. You recollected her house in New York is green. You are puzzled. You called your cousin again in New York to check on the house. He reported to you with astonishment the house color in New York is changed to red from green. The colors of the houses are being swapped instantly between New York and Atlanta without any communication. This quantum behavior is called a quantum entanglement in science, also referred by some people as a God's effect. So you observed a quantum behavior in classical world. It is amazing to see the property of a quantum world seeping into a classical world which we were thought impossible at one time. So what happened to the red house in Atlanta? Disappeared completely? That is not so, said wise men. These are not three wise men from Bible, but they are faces lot more than three. 
According to them, the red house in Atlanta went into another universe just looks like ours and there is another city Atlanta just look like ours again and they're all preserved in, in the parallel universe safe and sound. I know what you're thinking but respect the wise man. Angelina says she lives in all the places same time. Whenever you think of her she obliges and shows up for you. Now you fed up with your craziness. Angelina straight up are you cheating on me with someone while I'm not with you Angelina has a powerful lawyers on her side even a quantum ball has to deal with the so-called scientist lawyers they are scientists first and they learn the legal stuff for survival Angelina scientist lawyer gets up with a panic voice jury of the world that is a forbidden question you cannot ask my client Angelina what she is doing when she is not with this guy, scientist lawyer almost convinced the world. But a lone juror who is a spiritualist slowly raises her voice. Your Honor, we want the truth and nothing but the truth. We like to know what Angelina is doing exactly when she is not with this guy. Some scientist jurors nodded their head with her. Angelina feels your pain. She does not want to hurt you anymore. She whispers in your ear, I'm going to tell you a secret. You want to know real truth about me? I'm a particle like electron, proton, neutron, which your body is made up of. Billions of me inside of you. Your brain, your hands, your skin is nothing but me. I'm inside of you. Sometimes I wander outside connecting with my mother universe. You have a dazed look in you. You are asking me why you are not feeling the same way? <laughs> because you are an egoistic man. Egoism blinds you every way. We started our journey looking for truth. You asked wise men, what is that truth then? Wise men opened their eyes and declared the partial truth. Your natural existence is a quantum world. You are in a superposition, that means you exist in a multiple places same time. You are also connected to the entire universe through a quantum entanglement. Once Albert Einstein said, he, the prisoner, experiences himself, his thoughts and feelings as something separated from the rest, a kind of optical delusion of his consciousness. If particles in your body has the quantum field, what you need to do to feel those wonders of that quantum world? According to renowned physicist Enrico Fermi Award recipient, Nobel Prize winner Eugene Wigner says, you cannot explain a quantum world without the subject of consciousness. Two scientists, David Baum and Amitabh Goswami with impeccable credentials, strongly believe prejudices of all kind, cultural, racial and political, even the language itself, blind the consciousness. Hindus believe yoga and meditation may help you to reduce egoism and those barriers creates oneness among universal humanity. According to Jesus, Buddha, Gandhi, the most powerful tool of all is compassion. Compassion triumphs everything. Love your neighbor, love your community, love your country, love the beautiful planet Earth and all the living beings in all its glory. Feeling empathy for sick and poor gives that unique path to universal consciousness where the quantum consciousness and absolute bliss resides. Thank you for listening.